In this demonstration video, we're going to create an email connector that can automatically generate incident tickets in ServiceNow for unapproved events that have been recorded by Tanium Integrity Monitor. Notice that we're in Connect. Connect is the module that we use to integrate with third-party platforms in our data center. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new connection. We need to give it a name and make sure that name is something that's meaningful for other people in our enterprise to understand what that connector is for. And as far as the source goes, uh, we're going to use a saved question. This would be the same type of saved question that might be used for a dashboard or other reporting. In this case, it's a saved question that surfaces the computer name and any unlabeled events that have been recorded on that computer over the last 24 hours. The design criteria here being that if you are integrated with ServiceNow, you should have all of your events labeled properly with the ServiceNow label and the change ticket information. So anything that's unlabeled would therefore be unexpected or unapproved. So we're going to send this to email. And the information that we would put in here for the email destination, for the most part, would be something that your administrators would give you. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. ServiceNow does have the capability to be able to scan the subject of the incoming email. And for trigger words like incident, go ahead and actually generate an incident. Depending upon how that's configured, uh, it can actually route it to the right people and have it at the right priority. So all of this can be done in a very automated way. So I'm going to send this from Integrity Monitor at TaniumDemo.com. And then again, here, when we start getting into the details of where we would send it to and the information of how to configure that, uh, all of that's information that you would get from your administrators. Now, as far as the mail host itself, let me go ahead and fill out that information. Under advanced settings, we can BCC or CC other addresses. Uh, for this particular case, we want to go ahead and do this as an attachment. The reason for this is we want to make sure that there is an attachment that gets sent out with all of the information from that saved question. Uh, we're going to give it a name, unapprovedchanges.csv. And the reason that we're giving it that name is that it uses that as a template to create the uh, attachment name and then it appends the timestamp information here that you can see. I want to change this to CSV so that we're sending this out in CSV format and then go ahead and include headers. And then notice that I have the ability to run this either once a day or multiple times a day. I'm going to go ahead and take the default uh, but if this were a real production instance then this would be something where I probably would be running this periodically throughout the day. Now the next time that this runs, what will happen is it will gather all of those unlabeled events. It will then put them into an attachment and then email those to my ServiceNow system where an incident will be generated automatically per the configuration that has been applied.